Hello everybody, welcome to Joshua's Generation and welcome to another episode on the realm of the invisible. Alright, so today I'm going to be continuing from where I stopped. Um, I, I was speaking about the realm of the subconscious. You know, I have shared severally that the physical realm is actually the report card of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. So it means if you can control the spiritual, the physical must respond. So why run after the physical realm when you can change it? From the spirit realm for example as many of us are very conversant with computers if i if i do a job on let's say microsoft word or a typing job and i and i print out this job and if i notice if i notice an error in the printout where do i correct the error i correct the error from the computer not on the printout okay let's say somebody that takes a tpex or a corrective fluid and and strikes the error and now prints it out again guess what will happen it will still print out that same error for that person to correct the error that person has to correct it from the computer before printing out so if a man wants to correct something he has to correct it from the realm of the spirit before before it manifests in the physical all right before i continue i would like you to like this video please i would like you to subscribe i would like you to um, hit the notification bell so that this video can go viral if you like this video you are you are doing the work of an evangelist all right you are helping the the, the algorithm pick this video to share to a greater number of people many people are trying to correct spiritual things physically it can't work that way i get what i'm saying in genesis chapter 11 i'm going to be reading for verse 3 the bible said that some people came together and they said to one another come let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly you understand verse 4 he said and they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make name for ourselves. Least will be scattered about. So these men, they, they came together having a decision that they are going to build a tower that's going to reach heaven. Now look at, look at something that shocked me in verse 5. He said, but the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the son of man had built. Now the question is this. The Bible says, God came down to see the city which the Son of Man had built. But the question is this. These men, they have not started building. They were just talking to one another. Let us do this. Let us, build, let us make blocks or bricks. And when we make the blocks or the bricks, the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to make a tower. But the Bible says, when God came down, God saw that they, are, they, are, they were done with the building. Kai, kai, kai. So what does it mean? I shudder. They had not started the building. But the Bible said God saw that they, they were done. And guess what? God had to scatter their language so they will not start. It means that for something to start in the physical, it must first be a done deal in the spirit. You want progress for your life. This, what this man did, the, 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 the story we are reading here is a pattern. Of course, they were not doing the right thing. But God was showing us the reality of what these people need. Now pay attention to this. Pay attention to this. You want $100 billion. Listen, until you first have it in your heart. Huh? You cannot have it physically. And proof that you already have it in your heart is that when you confess it, your heart agrees. For example, you tell yourself, I must be great in life despite my background. And if your heart is telling you there's no greatness here, see, let me tell you, it means it has not yet sat. What you have, what you have to do is to keep declaring it until your heart comes into agreement, and then progress, progress is made already. Have you forgotten what the Bible said? The Bible says, "As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is." So it means if you see yourself rich, if you see yourself great, I tell you the truth, the principle of Scripture. And the principle of the spirit realm must back you up to attain greatness. Many people are small because of their small kind of thinking. So a matter must first be concluded in the realm of the spirit before it can start in the physical. Now that greatness you are trusting God for, have you started in the realm of the spirit? The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So what many of us have to do is that we have to now begin to reprogram our minds. Take away the junks, take away those things that, that looks like smallness, that looks like 
um, impossible, take away the impossibility mindset. The Bible says in John chapter 11, the Bible says, if only you can believe, you will see the glory of God. It starts from the heart. That's why the Bible told us in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. It says, if any man speak, he said, let him speak as an oracle. If any man speaks, let him speak as an oracle. Imagine you were God for five minutes. What are you going to say about your life? Just imagine you were God. Can I shock you? The Bible says, for ye are gods, and ye are children of the Most High. So it means that if God can say it and it comes to pass, it means you too can say it because we have the God life in us. So there are two ways to instruct your subconscious. Number one, you must learn the power of declaration. Keep saying it. Don't stop saying it. Pastor Chris, you are killing me, we always say, don't stop saying it. Keep saying it. Bishop Michael Koko, we, we always quote this powerful scripture. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. John chapter 1 verse 1. In him was life, and this life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and darkness could not comprehend it. Keep saying it. Declaration is a very powerful tool for you to reconstruct your subconscious. I told you, imagine you were God for five minutes. What will you say about your life? Wake up early in the morning. The first thing you should do when you pray after it, just have a time. What you're going to do? Start saying positive things about yourself. It will shock you when you begin to see the manifestation. The Bible said the power of life and death is in the tongue. Meaning you can save yourself or you can kill yourself by the power of the tongue. Number two, whenever Satan projects a wrong image into your heart, whenever the enemy Satan projects a wrong image, what you need to do, recreate the image. Attack your mind back with a good image. Be stubborn about it. I thought you in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 6. He said it, verse 6. He said the things that were made were made from the things that are unseen. Same Hebrews 11. If you read it, you're going to see it. So it means you have to first project it on, in the unseen realm before it can be seen. So for example, Satan tells you, you begin to have the image in your heart. You know, I've talked about the prophetic. I've got through images. Satan does that too. Satan begins to bring images of you're going to lose your job. You're going to be small. You, you are, you're losing your job. What you should do? Now paint a picture in your heart. See yourself being promoted in your working place. See yourself, see, see that your salary is increased. See that the company gives you an official car. This is how you paint a very forensic picture in your heart. And when Satan brings that picture of you are going to lose your job, you give him back. You paint the picture and you pray in the Holy Ghost. And it will shock you when you see that reality. It may not be immediately, but guess what? It must surely come to pass because the scripture says so. Your life experience is not bigger than what the Word of God says. If, that's why you must, be, you must be stubborn about what the, that the Word of God must be manifest in your life. John chapter 1 verse 14, the Bible said the Word was made flesh and it dwelt among us. Of course, that was speaking about Jesus. But prophetically speaking, the Word of God being flesh, it means that what God has said, what God has written can become flesh, can become a reality in your life. There are many deep things we are going to share. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post new videos.